Hi, this is Darren Blue, and I'm going to show you what a widget is in WordPress and how they fit into the theme of your blog. A widget is basically just a little piece of added functionality or structure, and it just kind of changes the appearance of your blog and allows you to customize it a little more to the way you like. Now, let me show you what I mean here. Under the Appearance menu, expand it and select Widgets. And now, depending on which theme you chose, you're going to have either one, two, three, however many sidebars over on the right hand side here. These are the sidebars of your theme and show up on your blog. So again, that's very important. Depending on the theme you chose, is going to affect how many sidebars you have here and what your options are. Now as far as what you can put into the sidebar, those options are all the same. So when I scroll down here, I can see a couple things of what can go into the sidebar. And this is pretty awesome, so let me show you how this works. First what you do is you say, okay, well on my first sidebar here, I want to show the categories of posts in my blog. And when I move it over, it gives me a few options. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as default. But I'm going to save that. And what I'll also do is I'll say, you know what, I'll show a calendar on the front page just because I want to. And let me move that over. Oh, there it goes. Now I can drop it in there and I have a calendar also. Now let me show you what happened here. I'm going to open the blog in a new tab. And hit refresh. And here we go. Here's the changes I made. This is the sidebar. Generally on most themes the sidebar is going to be on the right. That's pretty standard. But depending on the theme you chose, again, you may have one on the left and the right. You may have one double stacked column wise like this one is. And so this is going to be a little different per every theme that you choose. But you can see here what I added. I have the categories for the posts that I chose. Right now my only category is the default one, uncategorized. And I also have the calendar that I chose to display. And here it's showing the right day. Now let me show you how quick I can change this again. Say I don't really want a calendar because it's not all that relevant. People tend to know what day it is. And let's say I want to move this categories down to my other sidebar. I'm going to expand that and then pull it down. Click and drag, let go, and now that's going to be on the second sidebar that I showed you there. Now let's see what else. What I typically like to do is either include pages and maybe recent posts at the top and you just kinda hover it over the the other box here let go and it and it adds it down there and so I'm gonna hit save save and now let's take another look at this. I'm going to go refresh the page. Always refresh. And now this is a lot different here, huh? That shortened that up. Now there's the pages I have. That's the same as what's appearing across the top here. And again, that's the case for most blogs. Typically the pages will be at the top. And if you choose to have them at the side here like I've just done, now they're going to show up in a list form here. And then we have posts, the recent post. And Hello World is the default post. And you can see that right here as well. This is the only post on the blog right now. And so it's the only one showing up as recent. And then categories, which you saw I moved to the other sidebar. Sidebar number two in this case, which just happens to be stacked vertically right next to my first sidebar here. I have the categories of my blog which is only one right now, but that's okay. So you can see how you can easily add 
a little bit of different functionality to your blog and there's a bunch of different options here really I don't recommend that you you mess around with too many of these but it's important functionality to know about in WordPress really the most important one is this one called text right here this allows you to add just straight text into one of those boxes and HTML so what that means is you can embed stuff when it gives you HTML like photos or videos from YouTube you can copy that embed code and put it right in here now let me just show you sample text widget and this is where I'm writing a couple notes I want, oh, want everyone to see and I'll save that always save it otherwise it's not going to take effect I'll close that up and now when I go to refresh again at the top of the page here's my text widget and you can see here with the sample text I just put in there so it doesn't necessarily have to be these predefined links that a lot of the widgets are you can't go wrong here adding widgets or pulling them out either way if you want to pull them out just go like that or you can hit remove when the widget is actually open why they call it a widget I don't know that's kind of the arbitrary name for a unit when you talk about business but they are pretty cool features that you can use for your blog and really that's it that's it for widgets thanks for watching